There is new pushback tonight about false claims of a Venezuelan gang takeover in Aurora. It's now coming from a prominent restaurant owner who told our Janelle Finch that the anti-migrant hysteria could hurt Aurora's businesses. Janelle, Donald Trump said Aurora's been taken over by a migrant gang and this restaurant owner is worried that people might believe him. Annette opened in Stanley Marketplace nearly eight years ago. The restaurant owner says in that time, she's learned Aurora isn't the perfect city. There's crime and there are people facing hardships, but it isn't being taken over by a Venezuelan gang. This prep time kind of sets the tone of how people are feeling. Caroline Glover grew up around strong women. I feel very lucky that she was home when we got home from school and would just make the most epic snacks. Her mom got her into the kitchen, yeah. and her great aunt, Netsy, inspired her business, Annette. She was the one that encouraged us to speak out, even if it meant there was gonna be discourse, because without discourse, you don't, you can't see the other side. These days, a plate isn't her only platform. She's speaking out against what some are saying about Aurora. Saying that the Venezuelan gangs are taking over, um, that people aren't safe, walking down the street. Um, I, I drive to this business every single day. Um, I spend multiple hours a day here and things are normal. She says local anti-migrant rhetoric spun out of control and those claims should have never been echoed by former President Donald Trump on a national stage. In my mind, the second I heard Aurora in the debate, the I think that the leader should have spoken up immediately and said, hey, that's not Aurora, that's not us. You know, this is this is a beautiful place. This is where people open businesses. This is where people raise families. And I just felt like there was a silence across the board. Mayor Mike Kaufman, who's a Republican, and City Council member Danielle Jarinski did release a joint statement the day after the debate, walking back how they originally spoke on Venezuelan gangs in Aurora. They said Tren de Aragua's activity has not taken over the city and that its gang's presence is isolated to a few specific properties. Glover says the statement was a start. Again, I think it should have happened sooner and it needs to continuously happen. She worries if leaders respond to criticism at this same rate, her business will be impacted. But I do think that it has made some people who maybe had us on their list to come out pause and kind of take a step back and wonder if they should come out here. But she won't stand to lose her restaurant on false information. Yes, please come out here. <laughs> Glover says her support for Aurora can be seen through the second restaurant she opened at Stanley 10 months ago. She says she hopes despite all, people continue to come to the city for the things it is known for, like its diverse food scene. In the studio, Janelle Finch, Nine News.